Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, we have finally gotten a quiet day without severe weather here, but that might be changing over the next couple of hours. So I'm going to jump right into it. Here's a look at the satellite and radar picture here. You can see nor all of North Dakota is nice and quiet right now. In fact, very little cloud cover out there. But we are watching off to the west. There is another what's called a linear line of thunderstorms here. You can see moving off toward the east. Now, the one thing I want you to notice here is early in the shot, lots of reds and yellows, and those are starting to lose some of their uh, muster here. And that's good news for us in North Dakota. It looks like this system is weakening as it is moving. I think uh, this system, once it gets here, will primarily be a gusty wind and small hail event if it holds together, something I'll be watching here over the next couple of hours. Here's a look at temperatures right now. They are still quite steamy in places. 85 in Flasher, you're at 80 in Minot, 83 up near the Canadian border in Botno. Still 79 degrees out to the west in Wolf Point, 73 in Crosby, and 76. Good evening to our friends checking in in Williston. It's also been a very muggy and humid day, and that's because of these extremely high dew points out there, like 74 in the capital city, still a dew point of 73 in Crosby, 72 in Botno, Rugby, and in Harvey right now. This is downright tropical feeling. In fact, things aren't really comfortable anywhere across the KX area, a very muggy Sunday night. And that mugginess could cause some storms here as we roll through precision cast. You can see that system moving from the west to the east, but as this model is showing us, it does lose a lot of its as we go through the early morning hours so that by 10 a.m. maybe a couple showers to the south of Bismarck in southern Morton and northern Sioux County, but that is about it. Tomorrow, uh, Storm Prediction Center saying just a marginal chance for severe storms so widely isolated. I think tomorrow should be a mostly dry day. So your forecast tonight for the capital city looking like this 67 degrees still can't roll out the chance for an isolated thunderstorm, but we should have mostly clear skies with those south winds at five to eight miles an hour in the magic city. You will dip to 66 degrees, still a chance for a scattered thunderstorm. I think the best chance between midnight and 4 a.m., but otherwise a quiet night. Lows elsewhere tonight will be muggy, not the best sleeping night. 67 in Bismarck and Flasher. 70 is all you'll fall to in Linton and Medina. And then 66 tonight, as I said, in Minot. Tomorrow in the region, we will rise all the way up to 90 degrees. Another hot and humid one out there, folks. So make sure that you dress in light colored clothing to keep yourself cool. 87 in Minot will be a little bit breezier at time. You can see though those winds gusting to 25 miles an hour. Highs elsewhere tomorrow, hot everywhere across the board. 92 in Mowbridge, 90 in Linton, and 85 in Wolf Point. Here's a look at your five-day forecast for the Dickinson area. Can't rule out the chance for a shower or a storm every day through Thursday. Temperatures finally cooling off here as we go through the week. Same thing applies for Williston. You can see there a mostly sunny day tomorrow and then the chance for a short a storm Tuesday through Thursday and here is your extended forecast for the capital city a hot and humid one to start the week and then the chance for thunderstorms Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday before we dry out and then slightly cooler temperatures actually where we should be for this time of the year in the mid 80s and here's a look at your extended forecast for Minot pretty much the same thing Renee chance for a shower a storm Tuesday through Thursday and then sunshine returns all right, nice to have a calm day in weather after the hectic Finally, day we've yes. had. Thank you so much. Yep. Coming up next in sports, you don't want to miss these top five plays of the week.